King E. Dahlia, and you know, th th this thing is starting to strengthen. It hasn't really popped into that hurricane category quite yet. Hurricane hunters were out there earlier. They didn't re really find the winds, but the pressure did drop a little bit too, and it's starting to drift a little bit more northerly here. So it is getting a little bit better organized. But notice there is uh, some dry air on the western side of it, some shear blowing it that way too. So it's still uh, not quite there. Once it moves up into the Gulf, well, she relaxes some and the water is just super duper warm. So plenty of fuel here and it is expected to become a major hurricane, a category three hurricane just before making landfall around Cedar Key or so somewhere from Cedar Key over to Alligator Point and then possibly even move back offshore here going into next or the end of the week into uh, the end of the week and weekend here. Now it'll start to lose its tropical characteristics once it's out here. Some of the models spin it back towards Florida, but not really uh, that much of a tropical entity by then. But something to keep an eye on because what it will do is send some rough seas our way for the holiday weekend, which won't be good because everybody flocks to the beach and on their boat. So. Hurricane warnings uh, about the same as what they were earlier, but tropical storm now watches turned into warnings. Those are all shaded in blue here. We don't have either watches or warnings. Our tropical storm probability is very low here, but very high as you head towards the uh, west coast. Tampa at 82 Gainesville looks like it's going to come right through there and even up into Jacksonville. So uh, turning windy tomorrow with the first of the squalls arriving late in the day tomorrow. A few of them overnight and then again on Wednesday, maybe a few bands making it their way through. And then Thursday as the storm pulls away, it still trails a lot of tropical moisture and some energy moving through from the west. So we'll still see spotty showers and more storms. Severe weather threat, tornado threat in yellow, the highest threat. But we do have level one marginal risk pretty much for the entire peninsula and also on uh, Wednesday, that was late tomorrow. Wednesday, it does pull a little bit farther to the north, but it does include the Treasure Coast on Wednesday too. So what will we expect here? Minute by minute, hour by hour here as we go through the day tomorrow. I think it starts off really nice with a lot of sunshine. Then we'll see a few squalls arriving in the late afternoon and evening. In those squalls, we could see gusts 25, 35 miles per hour and uh, heavy rainfall in any of those too. Also, as we get into the overnights tomorrow night, maybe just a few more squalls, but the winds, the regular winds will pick up and a few brief squalls there for us. On Wednesday, the wind picks up up. That's when the wind will be the strongest on Wednesday. And then also the wind gusts and those squalls that move on through, which will be more scattered than uh, really widespread. It'll be more scattered. So uh, we'll see that up to tropical storm force, but not the sustained winds out there. And that's when we'll see that tornado threat too late tomorrow and also a little bit in the Wednesday. For Thursday, still on the breezy side, but just occasional gusty showers moving in from the west. Also, Franklin here, very impressive hurricane, 150 mile per hour winds, just a perfect looking uh, satellite representation and thank goodness it's staying away from Bermuda and pretty much all land masses. So our strongest hurricane of the season thus far not affecting land. Seven day forecast low to mid 90s. I think the sun comes out broken sunshine here or there. Squalls start late tomorrow often on Wednesday and then Thursday just passing showers and storms going into the weekend.